The work at nuclear reactors like this one in Tehran was limited or stopped in 2015. But the ability to restart remains, and that's exactly what Iranian leaders appeared to be threatening today. Filmed standing beside an empty heavy water reactor, a spokesman confirmed their stockpile of enriched uranium would breach international limits within days. Speaking in English, he urged Europe to act fast. Uh, do, of course, urge them to quickly do whatever they want to do in order to uh, compensate the situation and, of course, to bring back once again the balance between the commitments and, of course, the obligations. U.S. sanctions are crippling the economy. Iran is threatening to return to its nuclear program unless Europe helps to mitigate the pain. Washington called it nuclear extortion. In 2015, the nuclear deal was struck, capping Iran's stockpiles of low-enriched uranium and heavy water at 300 kilograms. In May 2018, US President Donald Trump pulled out of the deal, claiming Iran had failed to stop testing missiles. Iran now says the limit on its stockpile of enriched uranium will be breached by the 27th of June. Both the US and Britain have blamed Iran for explosions that hit two oil tankers last week, just the latest attacks on ships in the vital Strait of Ormuz. But today, the government was anxious to dampen down any talk of conflict. I must emphasise that our aim is to de-escalate this, to turn down the temperature on this. And I believe our European friends and partners feel the same way. And so we will continue to act to dial this down. Despite all sides claiming they don't want a war, with a US aircraft carrier group and B-52 bombers already in the Gulf, they could yet start one by mistake. Juliet Bremner, News at 10.